Hello there everybody and welcome back to our Trans Ocean uh, Simulator. It's not really a simulator, Trans Ocean, uh, the shipping company game. Uh, this is our let's play here. We are in the campaign mode. Uh, this is episode number five. Uh, last episode we were making trips between Felix Stowe and Lisbon. Right now we are sitting in Lisbon. Uh, and you can tell we have nothing going for us. We have no no cargo. So we're going to see what we have in Lisbon. We definitely are going to fuel up. And we are 7 out of 10 contracts uh, delivered. So uh, originally what I was going to do, I was going to play some of this off, uh, off camera. But uh, eventually here we're going to have to start paying back our investor, uh, Miss Lydia Smith. So wasn't really sure when that was going to happen, and I decided to just uh, instead of playing off camera, just uh, keep playing uh, for you guys. So let's see what we're going to take. Obviously, we kind of want to start taking contract ones, but I'm not going to. Well, I guess we could go to Valencia. I mean, it's not even worth any money though, so we're not going to take it. We want the big, the big contracts here. Um, we could go here though, and then we could stop. That would make it worthwhile. Go there, and then there. And that'll be a pretty, pretty decent, pretty decent load for us. So we'll accept them. Um, off we go there. We're going to go and fuel up fully. And that looks like a pretty full ship to me. Uh, just a little bit of room left. But not a whole lot. So we are going to cast off. The first stop for us is uh, Valencia. Which is right there. Uh, in half power we'll get there in 4 days. Our contract requires us there in 10. So we're going to go half power. No reason to uh, to worry about it. Remember that I uh, speed up the gameplay anyhow for you guys. So you don't have to sit through all 4 of those days. So that will be good there. And uh, let's see what we have. Uh, gonna pull out a port. Let's see if we're still docked at our same same slip here. We were at oh we are. We are. I was gonna say we were at the first berth. Nah, uh, we're still sitting there. So this ought to be a pretty quick uh, pull out, straight out, and then uh, we will uh, head to our head straight out like that. We will clear full ahead. As much as full ahead uh, that it will allow us. 10 knots is not the maximum speed that this ship can go. Uh, we can't go faster. It's the game limited us, limits us as we uh, pull out here. And we are out. That is our fastest time, which is awesome. And let's speed up our progress. Oh, we are now known. Uh, oh, we do. We will be having reduced uh, docking fees, which is nice. And uh, I didn't get to see that other one. I think it said something about medical supplies. But not really sure. So let's uh, pull in here. I think we have around 4 million euros. 4 million, I think. We'll have to take a look here as we, uh, as we pull in. Let's just try and get a view of where we're going. I think we're going... Let's check out our little mini-map there. Well, can't really tell. At least there's no ships coming in that I can see so uh, we should be good should be good nothing too too fancy or crazy let's uh, oh there is another ship there right where we got a pull in uh, there's another ship sitting there so we are going to uh, I don't know if it's, it looks like it's pulling out actually let's see if you can see it uh, well, can just make it out camera camera views in this game are not that good um oh there she is pull out there I think it's gonna let us uh I think it'll be fine We're, there's definitely plenty of room here so it shouldn't be an issue for us we'll start our turn because we gotta make an angle here this is quite the angle we have to make but it's fine or they're still sailing we're still sailing they're still fully loaded though we are not oh he did have to it looks like he slowed down 
for us. So, looks like he slowed down, otherwise no other issues, or, well, he is at a dead stop. He is at a dead stop. He must be coming, uh, this way. This guy, he must be making that sharp turn. That is definitely a, a neat design, though. Having the, uh, the main part of the ship at the front is really neat. I prefer it at the back, or even in the middle. Seems to be another nice way to have it. But here's our berth, so we're going to start cutting hard over, as we probably are going to have to do as well. a little bit of maneuvering here. We're going to have to go hard over, and then we're going to have to cut back hard over the other way. And we're going to slow down here. We're going to straight in, like so. And uh, once we get about halfway to three quarters here, we will hard over this way, like so, and we'll cut engines, <coughs> like that. And that is how you pull in, at least my way of pulling in. So Miss Lydia Smith here, we're uh, going to have to start paying her soon. We have just over four million euros, like I had said, so... Not a bad idea. Let's see where we're going. Now we are going to Imperio. Um, looks like we have to be there in nine days. So I don't think... I mean, we could make a stop in Algiers, which would be part of our contract. Uh, so it'll take one day to get, Al get to Algiers. And there's nothing else to go into Imperio. So let's throw it on. It's not a big... It just been the only reason we're doing it is to help with that contract thing. That's the only reason. Other than that, there's no other reason for it. So let's cast off here, uh, and uh, we're going to go to Algiers. We're gonna get there in one day. It don't matter what our speed is. So we're gonna go at half power. We're gonna cast off here. Oh, you're gonna see a lot of cast off, pulling out, pulling in type of stuff here. In this episode, it looks like just because we're trying to make a lot of ports. And we are going to head straight out. Ooh, big ship. Hey, there's our buddy that was in, uh, setting up before with us as we were pulling in. I think it's just massive. Just massive. Alright, we can uh, go straight out here and then we will uh, start cutting over like so. And we'll cut a little bit harder now. Like that. And we'll swing just straight on side this. That way if any ships are coming in, uh, we are on our right side. And straight out. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we were going a little bit faster than uh, than what I normally would. We're sitting at 6 knots versus my normal 4. But not a big issue. And as soon as we clear this uh, dock here, we are going to crank up to, to full ahead. Like so. And uh, we'll cut over just a hair so we stay within our lines. And out we head. Not, not another big issue. So pretty much staying in the Africa area tonight. Or today. Or whatever. There we go. We are in Algiers. So we'll dock again. Like I said, you guys are going to be in and out, in and out, in and out. You guys see a lot of pulling in, pulling out in this episode. Um, get to see a lot of different ports though, it's a weird camera angle to bring us in at. But let's see where we are headed. Um, we are obviously on the wrong side to pull in. So hopefully there's nothing... Ooh, there are one, sh two, th two ships. I don't know, it looks like this guy's pulling through. Um, so we're gonna cut engine speed. And we are going to start our turn. Actually, we're going to cut it down to four knots here. We're going to start our turn in. Well, That's a nice ship design here. I like that one, and I like this one here. You can tell both of them, actually, I think they're the same same design. It almost looks like. Let's see if we can get a better... And I can't see the rear end of that one yet. Looks almost like the same design. Let's uh, cut harder over. There we go. Slow down a little bit. Honk our horn. Yeah, it looks like the same design ship, so yeah. 
It's a nice design, I like it. Hopefully we'll get one later. It's obviously a bigger ship, so it can only go into certain ports. Ports that have cranes are the ones that it can only go into. So, and I, uh, I'm gonna have to get us over just a little bit farther. As I turn just a little too much. So, this will, hopefully we stay in this port for pulling out, would be, make it nicer. And let's, uh, slowly bring her down to no, no speed. And we are in. And another, well, she thought it was worth it. Well, that's good. And, uh, whoops, let's check out our contracts. And there is actually, uh, some stuff going to where we're headed. So let's take it on. It'll make that, uh, a lot more worth it. So. Ooh. To take some metals, that would have been a worthy, a very worthy uh, contract. Oof. And that's all we need, I think, is one more, right? Yeah, just one more, and uh, then we would have been good. Let's uh, let's check fuel prices really fast here, uh, just to see what we have going on. Algiers is five to where we are. Not, we're going back to we're in Algiers. Uh, holy cow, it's actually cheaper here. So we're gonna fuel up and uh, while we're here, uh, we're just gonna put a little bit more in. Not too much more, just a little bit. And then let's uh, whoops, let's cast off to our new port of Amberly Lemani. So we have uh, all this stuff has to get there. We're going to get there in seven days. I think we have something that needs to get there in, in nine. So just to be on the safe side. Um, we're going to use quite a bit of fuel. So we're going to have to fuel up a little bit while we're there. I did click our port, didn't I? I think, we, I, think I clicked the right one. I had 12. It wouldn't let us sail off, I don't think. Yeah, it probably would let us sail off. But we're going to... Luckily, we stayed in the same port. I like how those containers just look so nice on there. Looks like he's got some room, too. He's not even fully loaded. Maybe he's in the process. We're going to start turning now. Right, actually, we're not. We're going to... we got to be careful there. Just enough. She's giving us just enough room. I don't know why he's honking it. I don't know if he's ready to leave. He's got to be ready to leave. He could have left uh, before, though. While we were sitting in port. And whoops. Don't want to go too fast. Not that we're going to create much of a wake for him anyhow. But we could. Let's see what's, uh, what's going on here. Nothing. Well, that's kind of neat. Over there. And we are hard over. And soon here we'll be straight. Just kind of turning the wheel a little bit. And we're going to be straight out here. Actually, we're kind of on an angle, so we're going to have to zip over here. Ten knots out, and uh, there we go. We're on the right side now, so that way if someone's pulling in, we are good to go. And we are going now to El Blimey, or... I can't even pronounce it. Not even going to try anymore. But we are going to someplace in Africa with these goods. So... Heading over, heading over, and we just need, I think I'm going to try and get one more uh, deadline contract so that way you guys can see what happens after that. And I really didn't increase speed on the uh, time there, so that kind of wasn't that nice, but it didn't take too long. So let's pull in, this should be about half a million, half a million euros we should get out of this. Maybe around 600 million, which will be nice. That'll put us then just under uh, a cash balance of just under 5 million euros. Hopefully. Probably yeah, probably not, though. We were sitting at 4.1, so we we'll would probably be at like 4.8 right now. Which ain't bad. It's not bad. I don't know what our investor is requiring. We could probably pay off our investor, though. Is this another port we can just pull straight into? That'd be nice. Looks like it. Let's, uh, let's move. Oh, yeah. Not exactly. It looks like this one's uh, on an angle here. Can't really... Yeah, this one's on an angle. It's not too bad, though. Uh, we're going to go in at uh, full full speed. We're going to have to 
cut our engines really soon here. Yeah, we're going to start cutting them. Um, we're going to start making our turn though, like so. And uh, there we go. That's nice. Straight. Slow down a little bit more now. And uh, oh, there's another big, uh, big ship. Yes, kind of somewhat pay attention to what we're doing though. I kind of just heard the ship in the background here, and sure enough, I look on the mini map, and there, there she is. All right. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of docks here, a lot of ports. Must be a pretty pretty big area, pretty big port. And uh, we uh, we only just made just under five five hundred thousand euros. Huh? Must have did my math wrong. Bad math. But let's see uh, what we have. We got stuff going back to Lisbon, which is not part of our, our thing. We could go to Dublin, though. That would be part of our big contract. Or Felix Stowe is another one. Um, got all of these, actually. These are these are some really big paydays here, though. Holy cow. Um, we're going to run out of fuel going to Felix Stowe, though. I mean, I want to go to Felix Stowe, but we're just not going to have enough gas. What we could do, though, is we can make a stop in, El in Lisbon. Um, man. Let's see if we can fit these two. But we could. That could be a full load. And then we'll gas up. I bet you if we gas up. Mm, we would still run out of gas going to Felix Stowe. Let's, what if we try half power? If we go half power, we can make it to Felix Stowe. Hmm, can we not, uh, is that too much? Oh, I was going to say, that should be good, yeah. Oh, we can't take 90 and 80 though. Yeah, we can. There we go. We're just under our, uh, yeah, we're just under, so that's perfect. So that'll be a nice big payday contract, and we'll get there in time. So let's do it. Let's head out to Felix Stowe. This will be our last last stop for this for this uh, for this video, though. So we're gonna get there in plenty of time. 19 days at half power, and we have to be there in 46. So that'll be good. Hopefully, we can just pull right out. Be a quick pull out. I think we're on the straight dock. Hopefully, we're on a straight dock. Uh, even if we're not, it's not a big, big deal. Huh. It does rank, uh, number 43, though, in the world. For, for volume. And Ambar Lee Lamani. And... And, of course, we're going the, uh, the wrong direction. So we're gonna have to back out. Couldn't make couldn't make this last one easy for us, could ya? So we're just gonna back out here, and then uh, I think the the ship's facing the wrong way on the mini map is what it is. That's why I was confused. I thought we could just pull out because our back is here on the mini map, and it's showing that our front is here actually. So. Just a little problem on the minimap. I do. Uh, that's what I love about ships. Their front ends just help. They, the design that they have to help glide through the water is just, just nice. And there's another ship that we. Oh, there it is. And just make out. Ooh, that's a neat looking ship too. All right, let's uh, let's turn this bad boy full over. And we are going to be hitting our blue line here probably. All right, let's. Zoom in just a little bit here. I don't know why it keeps camera angle keeps messing around like us, like that on us. And let's turn. Well, you know what we could have did? We could have backed straight out. We could have did that. That's what we should have did. We should have just backed straight out of here. I wasn't thinking. I thought we had to go straight this way. So we were going. We were going this way on the mini map. 
And so we had to go this way. So I could have just back straight out. I should have too. Would have been a slow process as we could only go four knots, I think, backwards. I think four knots is the, is the most it could go backwards. Not really sure. I guess we'll have to find out in another episode. So I don't want to try it out now because I just want to get us out of here. Get us out of here and on to Felix Stowe. Um, it's already taken us almost two and a half minutes to, just to pull out of port here. Ugh, not good. Not good at all. Probably would have been faster just backing out even at the slower speed. But it is what it is. And we're out of here. And we're on to Felix Stowe. We'll just increase time here. Look at us go around and around and around. Oh, your last quarter's figures were poor, your reputation has sunk. And we have new ships available, and we are in Felix Stowe. Our last quarter. That probably would make sense. If it takes 19 days to get into port here, um, you're obviously not moving a lot of cargo in those 19 days. So, but I wanted to get rid of the... Uh, well, there's another ship behind us, so let's get out of here as quick as possible and into our berth. Um, but, yeah, 19 days is a long time to travel. We probably should have made a stop in Lisbon. Um, it wouldn't have been as lucrative, but, uh, oh well. Mistakes are made. We learn from them. Once we get another ships and stuff like that, um, it'll be fine. But remember, guys, if you uh, have ideas for ship names, let me know in the comments below. So that way, uh... When we purchase our next ship, we can we can have a name for her. Um, the other thing is maybe we have multiple names. Either I'll choose one, or maybe I'll create a poll, and you guys can can vote on 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 the next ship name as well. So let's start turning her. Let's get her a little bit straighter here. Let's slow down a bit. Down to five. Bring her down to four. We're going to keep going in on this angle like this. We're actually going to go straight. And then we're going to cut her, <clears throat> cut her hard over. And she's getting cut hard over. We're going to slow down. Hopefully I didn't cut hard over. Jesus, I might have just did it too late. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, only 1% damage, so not too bad. Could have been worse. Ah, uh, that journey was definitely well worth it. 1.3 million euros is what we brought in. And uh, now we can, uh, all these contracts should have already brought in some cash. Keep on working towards a second ship in order to multiply your earnings. At the present time, the wharf should only have feeders, but these ones are considerably better than what you have now. Um, thanks to your reputation and the many contracts you delivered up to now, the bank is offering you your first long-term loan. Now you can consider financing your ship or buying it flat out. Just don't get bogged down with your payments. And uh, we don't need to worry about the uh, tutorial on that. So as you can see, uh, there, uh, our goal here is now to uh, buy a second ship, which... As you can tell, we have some s other ships here. Actually, whoops. Huh. That's interesting. So, these are all locked. These are what we have available to us. Which which is what we have now already, basically. Except these are at 100% uh, condition. You know, these are going for a little bit more money than what we have right now. No, no need to... Uh, to waste it we got time you know so next episode we'll continue uh making more money we'll look into maybe financing a ship you know we'll see um right now we have we do have a line of credit current amount of credit is negative balance that's kind of odd that we have a negative balance for line of credit hmm interesting so we could uh, pick our financing plan. We don't want it. We don't want to finance nothing right now, though. So we got to start paying back our investor really soon. So next episode we'll continue on and uh, we'll figure stuff out from there. So remember, guys, hit that like button if you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my other videos. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.